So you're bored. So bored, in fact, that you had to come onto YouTube to watch a video about telling you what you should be doing when you're bored. I was like that too. Let's fix that. Boredom doesn't have to suck so much. And today I want to share with you a couple of things that I want you to do when you're bored that aren't bad habits, that aren't playing video games or stuffing your mouth with a bunch of junk food. All right, so the first thing to do when you're bored is to go on a walk. So yesterday I was, I don't know, I was feeling bored. I Honestly, I didn't really know what to do because I was like, all right, I've edited the video for today. I've read, I've meditated, I've done everything. I'll go for a walk. I haven't been on a walk in a long time. Let's go for a walk. And walks have this way of calming you down and putting you in this really mindful, present mode that if you're bored and then you go on a walk, for me, at least, when I'm bored and I go on walks, when I come back, I'm really, like, I, I feel so energized and I want to, like, get back to working straight away. So, I think walks really have this effect on your brain where they put you in this really calming state that I really, really think is beneficial. So, I honestly, I, I can't tell you where I heard this, but there's this state of mind where if your body is active but your mind is not and if your mind is active but your body is not well those state of minds are when like i don't know you can like the limit your your consciousness is limitless but that's when the brain apparently like is not working at its max capacity but when some of the greatest thinkers in the world have their greatest aha moments there's a shit ton of philosophers out there shit ton of scientists that say like any ideas that come not from walks are bad ideas and so if you're bored you don't know what to do well walks are a really really great way to get re-energized and become more productive when you come back but also to like be de-bored while you're in a walk and you can think of things to do unconsciously while you're in a walk and when you come back you're like oh maybe i could do gratitude journaling because i'm really grateful for that walk and how about i go hug my parents and all right you know what i'll go i'll go do deep work because doing a doing a going on a walk is a good thing for me so now i'll follow it up i'll follow it up with another good thing for me which is deep work so basically if you're bored i highly highly recommend that you go on a walk maybe put some music on maybe put a podcast on but it doesn't have to you don't have to turn the walk into some productive habit that you have to do because it'll increase your um, productivity and it'll do a bunch of good things for you like go on a walk for the sake of going on a walk okay try that for me okay so the second thing you can do if you're bored if going on a walk isn't your thing then you can do something <laughs> pretty unconventional that i haven't like i actually haven't heard anybody speak about this but it's to improve your flow skill or to improve your 80 20 skill so if you're running a business if you're a student if you're whatever you are this applies to you there is a skill that you can improve that once you master this skill you will become incredibly successful in the area of life that surrounds this skill so for example if you're a student and you master the art of studying really well and you can do your 30 minute study session is more effective than another student's one hour study session or if you're a writer if you can write extremely extremely well it will you'll get more out of your writing sessions than the writer who gets writer's blocks every five minutes and doesn't really get any work done or if if you're a speaker and your flow skill is speaking and you improve your speaking skill you're going to get more out of speaking than the than the speakers who well they kind of speak but they don't really know what they're saying so they stutter and they <laughs> you're like me <laughs> but find your flow skill that's out there find your 80 20 skill the skill that once you've improved it will give you give you the highest roi in life it can be speaking it can be studying it, it can be writing it can be running it can, it can be working out there is a skill out there that is your purpose skill and if you can improve that skill well you're going to be leaps and bounds ahead of the people out there who don't even know what their purpose is they don't even know what their flow skill is and if you can improve on that skill you will be miles ahead of them I'll buy it, like, explain that. <laughs> well, but relating to this is, so, the third thing you can do when bored is to just do something. Just do something when you're bored. When you're bored, you'll immediately get the urge to stop being bored because we humans, 
were were our ancestors were probably much more bored than we are and yet we're much more scared of boredom than we are if there's a minute that goes by without you ramping up the dopamine in your body and without you scrolling and, and without you frying your brain then you feel bad you feel that something isn't right and you're in a state of boredom and when we're bored we immediately want to get out of this state of boredom in which nothing really happens but but when you're bored either you can stay bored or you can just do something and we'll cover the just do something part so what i mean by just do something is like if you've already made your bed great but make your bed if it's already made then just like ruffle it up and then make it again clean your room like unload the dishwasher um re rearrange your rearrange your house um tidy up your clothes like there are things out there that you can just do do them just for the sake of doing them you won't get anything out of them but just cleaning your room is better than being bored and then having a five hour gaming session just doing something will inevitably provoke a spark and then you'll find that you've made your bed you've cleaned your room just for the sake of doing something and then you're like you know what i've done these two things i might as well be more productive and i might as well go read and i might as well go meditate just doing something just getting the wheel rolling is really really important and i find that when i'm bored when i don't want to do anything simply getting up and i don't know unloading the dishwasher or um moving t tidying up the books on my bookshelf like there are just some tiny things that can be done and once i've done those things i'm like you know what i may as well i may as well i may as well do my speaking exercises i may i may as well um work out i may as well do these things that i didn't want to do before but that now I want to do because I've just done something and that something has sparked has sparked the fire that is now my productivity so just doing something when you're bored is really really beneficial and the second part of this just doing something is to stay bored boredom is really really powerful nowadays because like I said we're all avoiding boredom none of us want to be bored but the person who's able to enjoy boredom is miles is leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else because while they need to to use instant gratification to feel good the person who is able to use boredom as a weapon because you can use boredom as a weapon well he's gonna absolutely destroy them because it's in boredom that like some of the greatest minds have found have found their best ideas and have really changed the world simply because they didn't know what to do for five minutes and so they just let their brain wander and when you let the greatest minds in the world wander well they're for sure bound to wander onto something good and you might be one of the greatest minds in the world so let your mind wander let yourself be bored because boredom is not that bad bro i think i have a video about this it was like a while ago but it's like something about boredom is really powerful so you can go check it out if you want to i don't know yeah go check it out <laughs> let's see what else what else do we have here um so the last thing you can do when you're bored is like connecting to the stay bored thing is when you're bored is a great opportunity to find your purpose in life so when you're constantly distracted well your distractions become your values and if you're constantly distracted by youtube short after youtube short by girl twerking on tiktok by video game and video game and tv show when you're constantly getting pulled around in this modern day by distraction after distraction you don't let your mind think and if you don't let your mind think how do you think that your mind is going to decide is going to decide what it wants to do for the rest of its life it's not when you're constantly distracted you simply won't know what it is you want to do in life you won't know what your purpose is and not knowing what your purpose is as a man will absolutely crush you so i also have a video on purpose go check it out and it talks about how boredom will help you find your purpose so go check it out and we're almost at a thousand subscribers <laughs> we're at like 530 something we're almost getting there guys and then we'll get keep on moving forward and upward all right cheers bro ah uh, no i hope this helped you and i cannot wait to see the progress that you make cheers bro